He was Egypt's first democratically elected leader, and now he's an inmate on death row. Today, Mohamed Morsi and more than 100 others were sentenced to death, a court decision that many say is not only unjust, but may lead to further violence. The CBC's Lorenda Redekop has our story. Mohamed Morsi entered the courtroom not looking like a man about to be sentenced to death. But to some, the sentence was no surprise. The former president, ousted by the military in 2013, was already serving a 20-year prison term. So it was 20 years last time when the international community was silent. Now we have the death penalty, and this is what I, do, what I did expect. If these verdicts are uh, executed, it would be the end of the democratic path in Egypt. Morsi was convicted for his role in a mass prison break in 2011. It was during the Arab Spring, which toppled dictator Hosni Mubarak. The prosecution celebrated the sentence, saying our main demand was that they receive the harshest sentence, and that's what happened today. Human rights groups condemned the decision. In this case, a case where the uh, accusation, the, the charge, the conviction was for breaking out of jail, they're sentenced to death. I mean, what kind of criminal justice is this? Neighboring Turkey also called for serious consequences against Egypt. The president said to Western countries, why do you stand still? Why do you remain silent? Impose your sanctions on them. More than 100 people also received a death sentence, including other members of the Muslim Brotherhood and Palestinians accused of belonging to Hamas. Many were tried in absentia. A clear attack against all kind of opposition. But Here in Canada, this PhD student who is studying Egypt took part in pro-democracy protests there in 2013. This is really destroying Egypt because this is what it's doing is bringing Egypt to the brink of a civil war. It still isn't confirmed whether Morsi and the others will receive the death sentence. Egypt's highest religious authorities have to give their opinion. The next hearing is scheduled for June 2nd. Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto.